Hi, this is Bill the Builder um, with Bill's Earth Services. Um, step number five is the, now you're on to the foundation removal and um, I guess whatever the material is it's made of and what the land's going to be used for will determine uh, what you do with the material and if you have to haul it away. Um, if it's just going to be land again, you can legally, according to the DNR <clears throat> in Wisconsin, you can bury it. Um, it cannot have rebar in it, so uh, if you are going to bury it, that's fine, as long as there's no rebar in it. Um, <clears throat> otherwise, you have to take it away and you know dispose of it properly at a gravel pit, which will either bury it or they will most likely just crush it up and reuse it for crushed concrete. Um, at this stage in the process, you're going to have to um, remove all that material or bury it in layers and bring in a drainable material so that as you're filling up the basement, um, it will drain through properly and then plant, put soil over it and plant some grass. But if they're going to be building in the same footprint and um, and making a bigger uh, foundation for a new house, then you have to um, then you just either leave it open or and surround it with like an orange fence to just keep the hole from anybody falling in or anything like that or animals getting in it. Um, or just make the homeowner aware that they are responsible for you know anything that goes on if that's left open and just make sure to keep that in your contract you know keep those pieces of information clear in your contract um, step six I guess will be uh, the final walkthrough with the client and you're done